I'm Jackie Reid and welcome to your footy feed for this Wednesday. Nathan Buckley insists the use of the controversial leading teams model at Collingwood is not about creating a bunch of robots. The Magpies coach has launched a staunch defence of his players in the face of criticism about the club's culture. Matt Thompson has the story. A wet and dreary day in Melbourne, but no worries for the Magpies. They instead trained indoors. Well, it's, we've got a full session tomorrow and um, all we would be going out for would be sort of light strides to loosen up and we're going to do that in our uh, brand new altitude room. It's inside the Westpac Centre where Buckley is clearly trying to set a standard and a culture. And while he insists it's not about creating robots who play footy, the leading teams program has been put in place. We don't play tennis, it's not golf. You know, these blokes need to exist together. They need to get on together. They need to understand, have a common goal. But now, at the midway point of his second season at the helm, Buckley denies it's targeted at a specific group of players who perhaps had more freedom under Mick Malthouse. In fact, he says that's disrespectful. Again, I think we underrate the hunger and the want of this, this so-called you know, brat pack. Andrew Cracker will play in the VFL after his week away from the club. He needed the time. Yeah, look, I know you guys uh, go about it, but you, you, you have sickies. The Pies take on the Western Bulldogs at Etihad Stadium on Sunday. Matt Thompson, AFL.com.au. There are fresh concerns the drugs allegedly administered to Essendon players could affect their fertility. Bombers legend Tim Watson says it's a concern, especially for those with children, including Mark McVeigh. Uh, his, what, his, his youngest child is, is 10 months old mm, mm. and uh, he was confronted by that. I, I guess part of the questioning and the tactics applied by Asada are also to... There's a little bit of a good cop, bad cop, yeah, yeah, yep. scaring players along the way as well. Watson insists the club was unaware of what he called the maverick operation. Port Adelaide President David Kosh has ventured into enemy territory, joining co-presenter Mel Doyle, Kevin Sheedy and GWS Chairman Tony Shepherd at the Sydney Opera House. And Kosh used the opportunity to take aim at the league's newcomers. We're not one of the, um, the rich glamour clubs like GWS um, <laughs> with deep pockets. We're working class, we're the blue collar um, uh, club of the league and uh, we'll give it our best shot. Um, we don't. We don't have the bottomless finances of, of the AFL support at GWS, but you know we'll certainly do our best under the circumstances. The two teams meet at Skoda Stadium on Sunday. And that's all for today's footy feed. I'm Jackie Reid. See you soon.